Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Richo Ruto, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Lady Justice Mother Kome, Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, the Governor of the Nairobi City County, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners and members of the Diplomatic Corps, elected leaders, distinguished and invited guests, dear Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen. Kenya Hoi! I'm delighted to join all today in marking this year's Mashujadi celebrations at these historic Uhuru Gardens. Your Excellency, allow me first to congratulate you on your election as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya on 9th August 2022. This being your first national celebrations of Mashujia Day to officiate since assumption of the executive office of the president of the Republic of Kenya. It is a momentous occasion for the people of Kenya and in the history of our beloved Republic. Mr. President, I also wish to congratulate all the elected leaders in the just concluded elections and remind them that it is time to deliver. We cannot wait, afford to waste a single minute. We know Kenyans are suffering and no more talk. It is now time to work. Your Excellency, allow me to most sincerely thank the people of Kenya for exercising, exercising their constitutional right to vote, but more importantly, upholding peace before, during, and after the elections. Kenya is a mature democracy, and indeed our great nation is back as an island of peace. Irrespective of our political differences, it is time to work and deliver. We are all Kenyans, this is our nation, and we are rising together. This is the freedom our forefathers fought for. This is the freedom Kenyans voted for. No more room for pain and suffering. Indeed, Mr. President, the real freedom is here with us today. Mr. President, this day reminds us all of history, our struggle and the blood shed by Kenyans. It shows us the beauty of purpose, the beauty of unity and purposeful living. Our forefathers and heroic Kenyans, who we celebrate today from all phases of our liberation and struggle, gave us a nation we are proud of. This is our country. We are one people. We have a duty to make this nation greater than we can imagine in all spheres of our lives. Mr. President, your government, the Kenya Kwanzaa government, has a plan to make Kenya a great nation, as envisaged in our manifesto where everyone matters and every hustle matters. I want to assure you, Mr. President, of my commitment as your deputy round the clock to assist you in delivering to the people of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, the challenges that we face as a nation, ranging from social to economic, belong to all of us. I call upon all Kenyans to each make a contribution every day in a simple, or a small way, it matters. As they say in Kiswahili, umoja ninguvu. Your Excellency, without further ado, it is now my humble duty to welcome you to address the people of Kenya. And let me ask all of you to be outstanding. And ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> 